teams from, from all over the world participate in this competition. And for us, this would be the sixth year we are participating in this competition. So basically, the objective of the competition itself is to develop a 2 cm by 2 cm by 3 cm robot that's wirelessly controlled and has to go through a set of tasks that you need to accomplish. Go through an obstacle course and be able to uh, flip uh, dice, small playing dice, so a particular number shows up on top. And the second category of the competition is a sumo wrestling, basically two robots going on head on head and be able to push the other robot out of the playing ring. Uh, so that's basically the whole objective of the competition itself. But I guess the higher objective is to have stu encourage students to think about developing um, mini or micro robots that have real world applications. We received an idea award, uh, the dice flipping mechanism for the entire length of this event, one of the challenges has been for the robot to flip a dice and they had never seen a mechanism like ours that we used. It was a hand-built actuator. Um, the body of it was only nine millimeters long and three millimeters wide and it had a piston in it that was able to uh, use magnetism to flip the dice. The team actually has uh designed and fabricated a motherboard that's specifically designed for this robot uh, along with designing the chassis and putting all it together. So that's been a great experience for our students. There's four of us. All four of us are electrical engineers. Uh, three of us, this was our senior design project and we worked with one other junior student uh, who expressed extra interest in robotics and the four of us uh, and another member first semester developed the robot throughout uh, first semester and January through March too in time to bring it to the competition in March.